I wanted to share a clip with you guys that I found of Cornell West on CNN. He was speaking with Chris Cuomo, and in this interview, he slayed Hillary Clinton. He was relentless and ruthless, and it was hilarious, honestly, in the way that he did it. Uh, so take a look at what he had to say. The presumption from the Clinton campaign is this isn't just about uh, likability. This isn't just about familiarity. This is about what has been done. And while Bernie Sanders says the right things, he's had a lot of years in the Senate. Mm. He has not mm. done things for the African community the way Hillary Clinton has. Fair criticism. No, not at all. I mean, Bernie Sanders one of the two white public officials who supported Jesse Jackson in the 80s. That took tremendous courage. Why did Brother Jesse win the primary in Vermont? Bernie Sanders. My dear brother Chris, Sister Hillary Clinton is the Millie Vanilli of American politics. She lip sings, she gives lip service, but when it comes to policy, who supported crime bill? Who supported the, not just deregulating the market of, of banks, but also pulled the rug from under welfare? She talks about her work with the Children's Defense Fund way back in the 70s. Doesn't say a word about being a Goldwater girl. Doesn't say a word about supporting a candidate who Martin Luther King called the we had, we can, there's no moral case for Goldwater. He's the most dangerous politician. She's vigorously campaigning. She shows up and gives these wonderful speeches sounding like Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders on the ground getting arrested, marching with Martin. The problem is black voters don't know his history in the way in which they know the symbolic language of Hillary Clinton. But on the ground, she's calling black you super predators in the 1990. That is the most demeaning, degrading language to our precious young folk sometimes do the wrong thing yes acting gangsters yes we know they got gangsters on wall street how many wall street executives go to jail she zero she's too tied to wall street with all that big wall street money flowing her way my brother she says on the other side i voted for the brady bill bernie sanders voted against it many times he wanted to protect gun manufacturers he hasn't done what i've done to then address why, the actual problems then why does he have a d minus when it comes to the nra she uses that one little element to take the subject matter somewhere else and not focus Brady's on her a little, record. Little, is a little element to the African-American community? W one element in terms of jobs with a living wage, when it comes to education, when it comes to decent housing, and when it comes to Wall Street. You know, and I know she and Bill received $151 million. You're saying the money's a problem. Which, unless she thinks we were born at night but not last night. Mm. Good God Almighty. We know the, the Wall Street influence on her has been intense. That's precisely why she and Bill repealed Glass-Steagall. These has direct connection with black folk. We got a neoliberal black political class who's on the Clinton bandwagon and the gravy train. And they are trying to convince large numbers of black folk we won't do it. Now, part of the problem is, my brother, corporate media hasn't been as fair to Bernie as he should. You all did encourage him, and I appreciate that. But when it comes to Nobody's coverage, had him on more than New Day has. No, no. This particular program has been... I'm talking about corporate media as a whole, because, I mean, we know Donald Trump himself was a Frankenstein of corporate media. They cover every Twitter. They cover every speech, every word. If, the, if Bernie had that kind of coverage, people wouldn't know who he is. He's got his own hashtag. But, but look how much money he's saved because the corporate media follows him every second, every minute. But, this is, but when it comes to Hillary Clinton and, and, and Bernie Sanders, Bernie, thank God for this show, but now your show is not typical. He hasn't got the exposure to see one fundamental thing, profound integrity, genuine conviction, and on the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. What other higher standard do we have in American politics? How many politicians do we know have genuine integrity? That you can count them on your hand. If you're and Hillary playing, Clinton's not one of them. She's it, not one of them, bro. I want to go through some of the things that he said. She's the Milli Vanilli of American politics. That is so true. Uh, what a great point. What a great representation of Hillary Clinton. The Milli Vanilli of American politics. Wow. <laughs> Now, he also talked about how she called black youth super predators and said, we all know they got gangsters on Wall Street. So he's trying to imply that, you know, we lock up these black kids, but we don't lock up the crooks on Wall Street. She's really cozy with Goldman Sachs, including their CEO, Lloyd Blankfein. So great point by Cornel West. Another uh, part of it. Um, he said, we've got ne a neoliberal black political class who's on the Clinton bad wagon and are part of the gravy train to kind of explain why many members of the Congressional Black Caucus and many civil rights leaders are endorsing Hillary Clinton. 
uh, really a really strong statement from Cornell West. Now, when Cornell West implied that Hillary Clinton is untrustworthy because of the campaign contributions he's taken from Wall Street, Chris Cuomo said, so you're saying money's a problem? No, we're not saying it's a problem, Chris. It's not a problem. Dude, like you're in the media. You're supposed to be educated about the way that the political system works. Either you are fundamentally undereducated on this issue or you're lying to the public, but I'm pretty sure that you know a lot. I'm pretty sure you're a smart guy and that you know the role of money in politics and how it has corrupted our entire Congress and political system. So that was embarrassing. Really, really just contrived statement. And now when it comes to why uh, Bernie Sanders is not reaching African-American voters, Cornel West said, well, look, part of the problem is the corporate media. And, you know, kind of pointed the finger at Chris Cuomo, although he, you know, Chris Cuomo said, well, I've had him on a whole bunch, even though their coverage is biased. Chris Cuomo is very biased in favor of Hillary Clinton. I've talked about that and showed you guys how that's the case before on this podcast. Uh, but Cornell West kind of absolved Chris Cuomo of that, but you shouldn't have done that. That's the one part I disagree with. So one last thing I want to touch on that he said uh, when it comes to Bernie Sanders. What other higher standard do we have in American politics? How many politicians do we know that have genuine integrity? You can count them on your hand and Hillary Clinton is not one of them. Damn, he slayed her that entire time. I mean, that was brutal. If Hillary Clinton saw that, she was cringing the entire time. That was that was tough. That was brutal. To have that big of a truth bomb thrown at the media all at once, their heads are probably exploding. They can't take it. They didn't they probably brought Cornell West on the show, thought he would probably stump for Bernie, but didn't realize how far he would go, how much truth he would speak. So Cornell West, man, I love him. Thanks for watching the Humanist Report. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at humanistreport.com.